Hello, welcome to Carla Dawn Live. I'm Carla Gordy Bristol, and I'm here in sunny, gorgeous, beautiful San Diego, California. And I'm here with Chef Glenn Gordy in his one of his clients' uh, properties uh, where you're doing a dinner. So welcome to my show. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. It's so exciting to be here in the midst of your kitchen, you know, magic yes. is what it is, honestly. Chef has created magic. And Glenn, if you haven't noticed from the last name, is my cousin. We have a relation here on our parents, our mother's sides, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Your mom yes, yes. is my great aunt, yes. Gwen Gordy Fuqua. So there. And you're from Beverly Hills. You went through the school system, Elwooddale, Beverly Hills High. Yes. I was at Beverly Vista. You were at Beverly Vista for a minute. Uh, Elwooddale, yeah. You I did a little the, bit over the there, video, there too. Yeah. You hopped around yeah. and then Beverly High. So for, I have a lot of people in Beverly Hills that watch, so I'm sure many of them know the space and so we are in a kitchen here being uh instructed on flavors and vegetable use asparagus so tell us what dish you're going to make for us we're going to do a shrimp uh, roasted um, uh, um, tomatoes uh, it's, they're, they're uh, 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 cherry sorry roasted cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. um, asparagus tips nice. um, garlic shallots cumin um, wow. Yeah. And All so, these different uh, places shrimp. with pot. Yeah. Shrimp is yeah. the main. Shrimp. That's the protein. Yep. That's the protein. And then yes. you've got the pasta. So yes. this is going to be fun. And you, um, I gave a tip about the garlic. Because I have a issue, issue when I'm peeling that garlic. It's so much you have to go through to peel mm -hmm. garlic for people. Just something as simple as that. Yes. And you can just smack them hard. I just hit them with my hand. You got the, you got the kind of fist. Yeah. You got the fist for that. Yeah. You're yeah. A, you have the fist. A lot of people, some people use a knife, but mm -hmm. it's dangerous because it, uh, it will, it can cut you if you mm -hmm. slip off the wrong way. Right. Yep. I'm looking at the flames back here. I'm feeling heat behind me. Yeah, What's yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah. I'm in a kitchen. And um, the use of these tomatoes, how did you roast them? Tell uh, me how you go I, I, I uh, just a little bit of uh, olive oil. Toss them, throw them in a 400 degree um, oven for about 15 minutes, mm -hmm. uh, let them cool. Um, the the uh, asparagus tips, just blanch them for about four, five seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, put them aside, up, or, and actually uh, put them on an ice bath to cool them off. Um, See, that's something key. You're saying the ice bath is putting them... Um... You make a, you just have ice with water, mm -hmm. um, super cold water, and you just, uh, as soon as, you blanch them in hot water. You throw them straight inside the, the uh, you know, the, the I cold love these parts. Ice My water. hands are clean. I had to wash before I came in the kitchen. So great. Yeah, that and that makes them crispy and. Nice. Right. You get you get them to a al dente where they're still crispy inside. Mm -hmm. So when you do cook them, they're not overcooked. Right. See all these little different tips that can help mm -hmm. you have a better outcome with your dish. If you can hear us okay right now, please show me some hearts, please. I'd love that because that's always a great. Wait for me to make sure everything's coming through. I know. <laughs> I know. I feel like doing the Drake song right now. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? So, um, and the shallots you use. Shallots, shallots. I use, yeah, shallots, garlic. Um, your, Thank you. Yeah, your, your onions. That's all your aromatics with your uh, basil and um, your sage. Those are all your aromatics. They're mm -hmm. very strong, so you want to cook those down to. Just marry them all together, you know, and um, and then deglaze after you get them cooked with olive oil. Deglaze it with uh, I use I'm using sherry today, Ooh. sherry wine. And, nice uh, sherry in a bottle. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick history before you go. Oh wait, wait, we gotta talk about this. Oh. The cumin. Yes, this is, this is a uh, cumin seed. Cumin. Cumin seed, uh, what I do is I take the raw seed and I roast it. Um, and when you roast it, all the oils come out of it. Mm -hmm. And Let's get the board and show. Oh. Yeah. You want to clean that off and show them. Right. So you roasted them first. Yeah, you roasted them first. So you buy it, how do you buy it? You buy it as a raw seed. Okay, a raw seed of cumin. Cumin, yes. And um, and what you do is you just, just take it after you let it cool down. You take it and you just crush it. Just crush it into a powder. Mmm, that smells so good. Crush it into a powder wow. and then that's... It literally is total powder. That right, like if you were to take some out of the, the bottle, the, bottle. You, the little bottle you get at the store, it would never 
you never have get the this, flavors. Uh, yeah, they smell good, but it, you can tell it's not fresh like this. Mm -hmm. This smells so good. So he just made fresh powdered cumin. cumin. I keep saying cumin. It's cumin, 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 cumin. I be the, no, no. <laughs> you say cumin, I say cumin. Yeah. But no, it was so quick for you to make that. Cooked it on the stove, uh -huh. matter of minutes. Uh -huh. Let it cool. Turn it into powder. Yep. And you got fresh stuff that's going to make your dish taste so much more flavorful. So these are great little tips on how to go about it. And then you were cutting up basil. Basil. And, um, which smells basil, delicious always. Basil, these are still your aromatics. The aromatics. You want to all um, start together with your garlic, shallots. Mm -hmm. Just to, um, you want to marry them together so all those flavors just okay. combine. Okay, can you cut a little bit of these up for yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. He did a few earlier. I want you to see. I can't handle a knife like he's doing it. And he apparently takes his little shaving tool every time. And he says that it um, is good to do after every use. Wow. It's amazing how when fresh herbs are cut up, the, so, like, the, the smells that come out of them. And then you don't want to use the uh, the stems. You just take off the leaves. OK. Yeah. See, some people cut all the way down to the stems. No, no, no. Don't use they the get, stems. They, they get too the bitter. bitter. You don't want a bitter yep. stem in your food. Same with your like your parsley's. You want to pick each leaf off. It sounds like mm. it's a lot of work, but that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I really, so even the stem. The stem. Because I use it in something. I no. keep a little baby stem. You want to you pick each leaf. Keep pick each leaf yes. off of the parsley when you're doing that. Mm. Ooh, you just taught me something on that because I've been. Uh, I cut the big stem, but not the little. No, 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 no. Ah. Okay, well, right. there I learned a lesson there. Okay, so we have pasta, shrimp, herbs, and stuff. So what, what are we gonna do right okay, now? Okay, so we, I have the, uh, mm -hmm. I have all the garlic, shallots, uh, basil, mm -hmm. um, uh, sage, Okay, you've taken in all these fresh ingredients and already, uh, them already in the sauteed pan. them. Over what? Olive oil? A little olive oil, sherry, mm -hmm. and um, I'm going to let the pan heat up again. Okay. And um, and then we'll add a little cumin. Nice. Um, nice. Yeah. It smells so good in this kitchen right now from natural flavors. Nothing like it would when you get your seasonings in the bottle. Mm -hmm. Nothing like this. And they always say those things can last like a year or so. Yeah. So you um, went to chef school, culinary school. Yes. Where were you in culinary school? I was in San Francisco at the uh, CCA, the California Culinary Academy. Okay, and this is back in the 90s, right? Yeah, 94. 94. And then after you came out, your first gig was with? With uh, Wolfgang, Wolfgang Puck at, in Beverly Hills in Spago. Who comes out of culinary school and is like right up under Wolfgang Puck? And that's you. <laughs> You're like, me. <laughs> yes, that would be you. Um, what was that experience like working under Wolfgang? Oh, it was it was it was awesome. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. It was he's very he was very tough, mm -hmm. but it was good. I mean, all my chefs at in my school were the same way, very tough, because yeah. they want to teach you a certain way. So when you do get in the kitchen, you know exactly what to do because it's, right. it's 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 a fast pace and yeah. yeah. I get it. Yeah, I guess yeah. tough training breeds uh, successful chefs. And you've done uh, work at many hotels that I'm not sure. Yes, I that's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, a couple, yeah, yeah. I did La Valencia here, uh, La Valencia Hotel, La Jolla, mm -hmm. and um, that's a big hotel in San Diego too. You did, yeah. you, you were a chef there. Yep, and um, so yeah. high production. I mean, so sure now it's just more private, private yeah. stuff. What I like to do and uh, working for that many people is crazy. Okay, so you got something going here. I don't yeah, wanna... and a little chicken broth. Chicken broth. A chicken broth. That's okay. a cute little chicken broth container. All right, so we are going to do our roasted tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to zoom in for you guys on the pan so you can get a better shot. I just lost your head, but you're going to definitely see the. Yum, 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 delicious. God, that looks amazing. Yeah. Really. My my tissues are good, but they are not. Wow. And that looks that way because of the freshness of them, I'm sure. Yes, yes. And Okay, uh, so it's time for shrimp? Yes, I'm gonna add the shrimp and the asparagus tips. Okay. Wow. 
so good. It's so easy for people to to cook their own dish at home versus going out and having something that is really good quality, probably better quality, right? Yes. Healthier for them. Oh yeah, because in in, um, in the kitchen. Things in do, restaurant. Uh, in, yes, in the restaurant and kitchen, uh, they uh, they sit for long periods of time in the mm -hmm. you know in the refrigerator and right. and so uh, you know it's it's always yeah. good to do it nice right. and fresh. I always feel like when I go out to eat, they have extra butter and extra all the fattening stuff that makes it taste so good. Yeah, when you yeah. go out, oh, you know, because yeah. it's for that moment. Yes. So it's like I hey, give them a little extra. Loaded on them, yep. but when you're home, you can still have good flavor without all that That's extra right. calories. So, uh, That's this. vegetable broth. Okay, vegetable just, a, broth. just a little bit, just to keep it, mm -hmm. you know, keep it going, keep it nice and moist. Oh my god, this looks so freaking good. Delicious, looks delicious, smells delicious. Um. When you do these parties, it's an experience for. Oh, go ahead. Keep, keep working. Oh, okay. Asparagus. Asparagus. <laughs> Asparagus. Tips. Putting it in. Uh -huh. You can put it in pretty. What's with that? Um, people have experience at one of your parties. What makes that um, more engaging, and what do they get out of that versus well, it's having just, a dinner party in a restaurant? Uh, it's just because you. I can really show what I do and how I. Uh, how I cook because mm -hmm. when you're in a restaurant, you know, you're doing what they like you to do, mm -hmm. but I, I, it's more engaging, it's, I'm sure, yes, right? Yes. They can kind of get a feel. It's like being in the kitchen. Yes, yes. They learn a little bit while they're there at the same time. That's right. Having, it's like a whole dining experience I, I in like, the kitchen. Uh huh. I like, I like people to sit, sit around, have a glass of wine, hang out, watch, mm -hmm. ask questions. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can you see this? Doesn't it look so good? Someone said they can only make hot dogs and chili. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, you can make this at home now. Hi, Bruce. Giving some people some shout outs. Ronald Haney says, Chef, chef it up. Okay. There's Nick. Hey, Nick. Hi. Hi, Cerny. Ronald, I see you all. Keep talking, Glenn. Anything you're doing, tell them what all you're right, doing. Well, I'll just uh, for pasta. I uh, have a have hot water over here. Just oh. uh, get it nice and hot. So when I want to add it to uh, the dish, it's, it's all ready to go. Okay, so make sure it's really hot. He says. Uh -huh. And if you like to spice up your life, <laughs> you a little red pepper. Uh oh, you're bringing the red pepper on us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. I think he likes to spice it up. Okay. Nice. I feel like I'm in the chef way here, but it's so good. Woo! The flavors. If I could just uh, share with you the aroma in this kitchen right now. Mm -hmm. The pasta's going in the hot water. I think we need some wine, Chef Gordy. All right, all right. I got a couple. I did, I did <laughs> do you like it. to have wine while you're cooking? Yeah, oh, that's, that's, I know, I do. that's what I do at my dinner parties. Have mm -hmm. A little red wine, yeah. you know. And my boys like to have a little tequila. Oh. You, know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the and ones that are there, the ones watching over there, they yeah. know. They know yeah. about it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Yeah. And cheers to all of you. All right. So, uh, red wine, shrimp, pasta, tomatoes, mm -hmm. asparagus, shallots, basil, salt, cumin, sea salt. Uh, yes, I use uh, coarse uh, kosher salt. Okay, kosher salt. Yes. And earlier you were telling me about this cheese, that just Parmesan, but it's, it's a special kind. It's a Parmesan Reggiano. Parmesan Re Reggiano. 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 So yeah. it's a different, little yeah, different. It's, this is it's your a, choice. Yeah, I, a lot of chefs like to use it because mm -hmm. some Parmesans can be a little bit overpowering when mm -hmm. cooking. Okay. Um, this is like just kind of just 
just right, you know. Got it. The, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna plate this here. This is looking major delicious, you guys. So if you have any questions for the chef about cooking, take the free tip now, put it in the comments, he'll look back at it, answer it. I'll go over there actually and try to read a few. Um, wow. And this can work with any kind of pasta, is it? Or it has to be a yeah. sturdy No, pasta. no, no. What, what's that? Any pasta can work with this dish? Yeah, you, you, can do, you can do fettuccine, you can do, oh, you can do any, any pastas, but... Uh, Okay. You know. So you put the pasta right in there. See, yep. typically I put the pasta in the bowl and no, 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 put the no. sauce on it. So get it all going. Look at the flip. Can you get the flip? Yep. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is so fun. You guys like getting this free lesson? You can make this. Someone was talking about they can only make hot dogs. They can make this pretty easy. Oh, yeah. Very easy. I mean... We laid it out for you. All your ingredients, dice them up, get fresh, nice vegetables. I mean, yeah. And it's that's it. Yeah. The shrimp is done, it's ready. Now I can cook. Yeah, I can cook. But let me fix this so I think we're a little out of frame. I can really cook, but there we go. Is that better? But um this is a whole nother level. <laughs> Because I always say people will cook, but the flavors don't come out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 missing something. Mm -hmm. And then what they do is they go in their seasoning cabinet and they shake more mm -hmm. and they shake more, mm -hmm. and it just still isn't giving them fresh herbs. It's all in the fresh herbs. Fresh herbs. Fresh herbs. That's what makes it pop out. Every yeah, that's right. And by roasting those tomatoes, roasting when you the put tomato, them in there for about ten minutes, they get so sweet. Does and that bring out another kind of flavor in them oh, versus yeah. just? Yeah, you, you can, yeah. Well, you know, there's a, like the Italians, they'll cook, they'll, they'll cook them right on the pan mm -hmm. until they're done. Yeah. But, uh, I, yeah, you know, there's different ways of doing it. Some people do that. They'll just cut their tomatoes, they throw them in a little pan, toss them around a little bit, and they make their dish. Yes. But something in the roasting process changes it, that flavor, yes, too. Yes, it, it brings out all yeah. the, um, the the sweet, all mm. the flavors inside of it. So, and, um, when we're, it, I, this is me but but when we're in the restaurant we always have clean dish always clean okay. dish so yeah. never think when you get it that it came out it started that way they yeah, have no, to wipe no. it clean <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, yeah. <laughs> it gets sloppy so and um to finish this Ooh, off this is uh, beautiful we just add a little bit of parmesan reggiano on top and mm, then mm, we take our mm. uh, microgreens these are um a uh, basil microgreen and a arugula microgreen and it just adds that uh, extra flavor. Nice. That's it. It looks amazing. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna walk this over to you guys so you get a full close-up view of this. It's not in the light though. Woo! It is delicious looking. I like it in the light. Yeah. There we go, there we go, they can see it right there. Yeah, That's that it. is gorgeous. That is a beautiful bowl, beautiful dish. Thank you so much for teaching everybody how to make this. I hope you took notes because I want to hear back later that some you tried this. And you, they can use any protein. Yes, you they can use shrimp. any protein. Um, they want to do it with chicken. Chicken. You, toss, you, you yeah, cook chick it first. You can use fish, chicken. Um, like salmon would be Salmon would be awesome. Yes, yes. That's my thing. I'm yeah. the salmon, yeah. Yes, yeah. So they would just cook it the same way, mm -hmm. separately, and then just put it in. Because you cook the shrimp in with the sauce. Right. If it was shrimp, would you, again... I would do the... Actually, I would do the same way. If okay. I if I were to use, like, a salmon, mm -hmm. cube, cube the salmon. Cube it. And um, put it when the sauce is just about done, put it right in. And okay. um, it's going to, you know, and just let it cook. And the salmon's going to take just the same amount of time the shrimp What about takes. chicken? Chicken, you want to uh, you want pre-cook. Mm-hmm. Um, because chicken, you have to really be careful Make with. Make sure it's cooked right. Yes. Yeah, and you don't want maybe raw chicken. No, 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 okay. no, no. So you got and that? Cook your chicken separate, then add the cubed chicken yes. into the sauce mix that we that you made here. Yes. And I always, you, it makes all these juices and stuff. Mm -hmm. Where does all the juices come from in dishes? You know, the tomatoes. It, it's, I mean, it's the tomatoes. It's it's just the, uh, I mean, you get your sherry, your olive oil. You got your yeah. shrimp juices. So you if you got, want it to be saucier. What would you do to this dish? Um, if I want to be like a, like 
when they do like a cipino or something, mm -hmm. you would uh, you know you would cook down your tomatoes and make you know just make that real use that sauce that you know, thick sauce. You can do it with the same same thing. I yeah. see. So mm -hmm. you can just have like a separate thing of making extra huh? sauce with make it sauce from the and, tomatoes, and then just throw your sauce in while you're cooking. Throw your sauce right in, and but it's fresh it. made sauce. Yeah. Because they have all these powdered sauces in oh, the no. stores. It's just, I know. No, no. I know you don't use it, but no. for you know my audience, I'm trying to help them understand how to get get that flavor in the food. Because yeah. a lot of people, you know, they can make some pasta. You can boil some pasta. Mm -hmm. What do you put on the pasta? Yeah. You're home. You just home and you have pasta. You you add all these fresh herbs. Yeah, my high right. school's like my family. They're they're spoiled. You know, my yeah, daughter and my wife. Because they, they hey Rainy and Gwen. And, I mean your wife Rainy. Yeah. Um, works hard, yes. you work hard, and then you cook. Uh -huh. How amazing, I have a yeah, chef for a come, husband. Yeah, when they come home, I, you know, they you always have a ready. great dinner. And, like uh, a restaurant ready dish that's right. at home. That's right. Oof, I love it, I love it, I love it. So yeah. this is your, you're passionate about cooking. It's yes. become a passion. Mm -hmm. Before you went to chef school, it wasn't something you always like Sought out doing. Uh, Did you always well, I, when I was growing up, uh, you know, in, aunt Ber Joyce? in Beverly Hills, you know, and um, my aunt Joyce was a yeah, cook. Our, our aunt Joyce was a cook. She was a cook, at, and, we used to, and, and we had a lot of parties at the house. And um, yes, on Benedict Canyon. Yeah, yeah. and um, they we had chefs that always came in, and so I you would, watched them. You I was uh, I was always down there helping oh, okay. them, trying to do a little something. I didn't know that you yeah. were in there then. Yeah. I was just waiting until they said dinner's ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then I would come and eat. Yeah. I didn't know you were so you were peeking at this when you were young. Yeah, yeah. This is something I fell into. Okay. So, yeah. Fun. I didn't that's a good tidbit for me to know. I always say that people have passions when they're younger, interests when they're younger. And it always comes back and it you know, later in their yeah. life twofold. It, it's something that they always go back to if they didn't stick with it. Yeah. And you made this one a little spicy with the chili peppers. Uh, which yeah. again, those aren't those are like fresh chili peppers. Yeah, they're, they're just red chilies. Red, red chilies. Red, uh, yeah. Red chili. I, usually, I roast them. Mm -hmm. I'll roast the I'll roast, roast the whole chilies. Oh, you roast the chili I'll to get the fr yeah. I'll roast the whole chilies and then <laughs> and then I'll grind I grind them up mm -hmm. in a uh, mortar and pestle with mortar and pestle. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's about yeah. That's really the way you get good flavor out of yeah. food. That is so. And why is this so important? You think for people? You did tell me why they should cook their own meals, but to be careful about where they're buying their produce. Oh. It makes a difference where you're getting it from. Yes. Where it's grown. Where it's grown. Yeah. I. You know what? I. I, I try to. I try to get a lot of my stuff. Like. Like I said, from Chinos uh, here locally mm -hmm. in San Diego. Yeah. Um, they have great produce and. Um, it's just a farmer's market. It's, it's like no. It's just store. a. It's just a uh, little stand, and they have a. Oh, okay. They have just these in huge fields, and they just grow everything. So it's right there at the field where they grow uh -huh. it. So it's good if you can go out to a farm uh -huh. and get produce and get from all, the actual yep, farm. All the fresh, if you can do that, yeah, yeah. if not, go to the farmers market. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and, and you know we have places, uh, Seaside Market, and our local markets are getting pretty good, of, you know, with their yeah. organic. The food. more people demand, do you believe organic is is all the hype? Uh, you know, we're hearing all this stuff. Organic is not really organic. Uh, certified organic. What? Uh, what do you think? You know, I, <laughs> Hey, if it tastes good. Is all this, I mean, do you always use everything organic or no? No, no. I mean, I just, you know what, it's, I try to use a lot of organic, but you know what, if it tastes good. If it tastes good and you get it from a good source. You get a good source. That's, that's yes, really it. Yes. It comes down to the good source, yeah. everybody. Yeah. So, I, I'm so happy you tuned in to watch this. I hope that, because I'm ready to eat. Okay, where's a fork? Let me, let's take a bite. Okay. We have to bite because I'm talking, but the whole time I'm like, this bowl is too big to claim as mine, but I'm going to at least take one bite. Okay. And dig to the bottom where the sauces are. Yeah. Oh, wait, I got, goodness, I got, sh I got a lot in that one stack. I'm getting an asparagus and, there you go. oh my God. Mmm. Let me see what's going on here. <laughs> I think I got a chili pepper. Oh yeah. Mm, that's so good. Oh no. That's the Hawaiian. Delicioso. Mm hmm. Delicioso, for sure. Cheers. Well, there we go. From Chef Gordy's Kitchen, Carla Dawn live show. Mm -hmm. Good times. A little sip of some Pinot Noir, or what is this, blend? Mm -hmm. We got a blend going. Mm -hmm. And okay. we're going to serve up some more food. Some people are coming that have brought you in to cook a whole dinner but you let they let me come in and 
do a little peek for before for my show, which I appreciate. I love what you're doing, and you're available for private parties. Yep. You like the small groups, 10 yes. to 20 people. 10, 20, good. Mm -hmm. I can do two, three, four, you know. Okay, that, five, that, if, small, like an intimate couple. The, the smaller it is, mm -hmm. the better it gets. Mm -hmm. But not always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you just want to treat your special someone to a wonderful... Mm -hmm. Celebratory dinner, or I can I can uh, I can make up uh, you know a couple different menus and just tell me what you like and I'll make a couple different menus for you and just you know and yeah yeah that sounds fun actually that's that's really impressive I'm sure yeah you know to come and you can do it on any kind of setting right sure you prefer to be in a kitchen but you can always make it oh I, I can go I can somewhere. do it anywhere I have they might want to have lunch on I, the beach or something I have the tools to take everything out to the beach mm -hmm. out to the park okay. anywhere you want. So primarily San Diego area and surrounding mm -hmm. areas. Yep. But if it's probably a party of what minimum ten or something, you might go to a little bit. Yeah, I you know out. not I, too far. Maybe. Yeah, about an hour ten, within yeah, forty-five ten, minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then about forty-five minutes of San Diego. If you have a party coming, it's holiday season. There's Thanksgiving. We have Christmas and and other holidays coming up in December. You have anniversaries, you have just special I love you's, or um, it could be birthday, yep. many things. So, Or just get the girls together, have girls. Yeah, have um, girls, some party, get the girls all together. Yeah, you guys can ladies drink. night. Yeah, right? you guys drink wine, you hang out, watch, I'll talk mm -hmm. to you about everything, and, and we'll yeah. have a good time. They can engage, so you get mm -hmm. in kind of like a, a lesson about cooking as well as the whole experience and the fun. So, mm -hmm. And you had some fire going earlier on that thing, you had flames going from the pan. Yeah. Earlier, so Absolutely. he's very theatrical in the kitchen as well. So that was pretty fun to see. So again, I thank everybody for tuning in. I thank everybody for their patience, um, for any technical difficulties that may have arisen during the show. Hope you heard us clearly and well, and learned some tips for your kitchen, from food cooking to recipe making to produce selecting. I just made that up. <laughs> that was pretty good. I was just pretty rolled good. off the video at the time. Uh, I like it. I you like, know, it. I got, you right. like that? Yes. Okay, Chef Glenn Gordy in your chef outfit. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to sit down with everybody and have a nice full blown meal. And I wish you the best. Thank you for tuning in to Carla Don Live each and every Wednesday, 5:30 and uh, Pacific Standard Time. Next week, Don B. Welch, a wonderful playwright, director, producer, is coming on the show to talk to me. And I have other shows lined up as well, and I'll give you those dates as they come about. And also, please take a look this week, airing all week on my Beverly Hills View show, is Ted Lange of The Love Boat. I have him on, and uh, he shared so many great things. He's an amazing, remarkable uh, writer, author, director, actor. So please tune in to Channel 10 on Spectrum in Beverly Hills, or look on my page for the link to that show. Again, I thank you. I appreciate my audience. Uh, make someone smile today and spread plenty of love and kindness and continue to watch Carla Don Live. Follow me on social media, YouTube. I know he's enjoy when a chef enjoys his own meal, uh, it, it's it's on point. I, I must say it's really good. If it wasn't, I would have just been like, oh, yeah, that was good. You know, moved on. I am like ready to eat this whole bowl. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, follow me on YouTube and um, on other social media, Instagram and so forth. So I'll be here for another day in San Diego enjoying the weather. <laughs> Cheers. Ciao, everybody. Thank you. So, shall I go sit down? You're going to serve me now? Yes, I will. Oh, yum. <laughs> Going to the table. <laughs> <laughs>